Hey, let me do this real quick. Uh, Kenneth Keith stopped by. I'm giving him five minutes, and then I'm throwing him out of here. What does he want? He's got some kind of new uh, singing career. He's playing at a club tonight. Kenneth Keith Callenbach, that guy who's like sort of retarded, who does our show every once in a while, who I, who I have said is really Beavis and Butthead, the real-life Beavis and Butthead. And he was Beavis and Butthead before Beavis and Butthead were Beavis and Butthead. It's a shame he couldn't figure out how to make himself a cartoon. Yeah. But he's trying to latch on to this success, this fame that I've given him. Hey, hey, man. Hey, your hair grew back in. Because one time he was on our show, he cut off all his hair and shoved it in his mouth and ate it. Yeah. And then you blew smoke through your eyes a couple of times, or you tried to. And then you, now, now your thing is you light firecrackers in your crotch. Is that your thing, pretty much? Yeah, whatever, you know, people want me to want to see. <laughs> and then I was telling people the other day on the air, did you hear? Oh, you got a new press photo? Ah, yeah. <laughs> you look great. Yeah, I got, wait. Wait, I got another one. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, I got another another picture. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, wait. Uh -oh. you take Here your time. Is. Hey, you look good there. Let me see. <laughs> see, I got... Uh, the cool. You still, two, um, you still with that girl? Smoke. Yeah, we're uh, <laughs> sort of like dating now. What do you mean dating? You were living together. We're dating. You dating each other, or you're dating other people? Well, last night she said she wanted to date other people. Oh, so. really? You yeah, finally figured out who she was with. Oh. Well, no, it wasn't that. I just I, I didn't know if I was ready to um get married. Get married or whatever. What do you think? I, I don't think you're ever going to do any better than her. <laughs> you want to be honest about it? I'm, yeah, I'm but being should serious. he really, really be married? Is what he so. said. I don't think you should get married. You're not a real responsible guy. No offense, but. You're not like a typical guy who's well thought out. and. Well, yeah, I am, but, well, I don't know, you know. I mean, this is a guy who, like, we were doing the Channel 9 show, and Kenneth Keith was really getting popular. Like, a lot of the guys were getting paid appearances and stuff. But, like, frat houses in Washington would call up Kenneth Keith, and they'd say, uh, hey, dude, why don't you come down to our party? And he'd go, well, what are you going to give me? And they said, well, we have a whole case of beer. And he'd, he'd drive all the way down there, and guys would just beat you up and stuff, right, at the parties? They'd yeah. Get, for it was, fun? It was fun. You like getting beat up. <laughs> nah, nah, they didn't beat me up. They didn't beat you up? They were just playing around. They were just college jerks, you know. Right, jerks. <laughs> they were jerks. <laughs> I don't, like, people saw and like, these college jerks would go, hey, let's invite Kenneth Keith to our party, and we'll have someone from the Howard Stern show. And Kenneth Keith would go down there because he really has nothing going on in his life. And then they would just <laughs> make him do things. Or yeah. they would try to do things to him. Wouldn't they make you get naked and stuff and light firecrackers? Yeah, I was getting naked and lighting firecrackers in my crotch. Yeah. <laughs> I saw, I, some guy sent me a tape where you, he had you at a party. And they didn't have any firecrackers, but they had Roman candles. Oh, yeah. And you lit a Roman candle off your crotch. Yeah. They and were, then they would sit around um, and just goof on him. And tell him to vomit out a window, and, and he would or do it. Or make him drink a lot. Yeah. And you wouldn't get laid or anything. They were just there to yeah. goof on you. And these guys were losers, too, but he was worse of a loser. But they would sit Kenneth over in a corner. It was like they would take pot passes and poke at him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they would poke stuff at you and everything. Yeah, I would get drunk and pass out in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so what's this you doing with music now? Comedy rock. I invented comedy rock. No, <laughs> he's an inventor. Comedy rock. <laughs> comedy rock. I invented comedy rock. <laughs> what are you doing? You, do, you you're playing some songs? Is it good songs or is it like something goofy like Charles Manson or something? It's good songs. Good comedy rock. Good comedy rock. <laughs> Let me hear something quickly. Yeah, Where are you minute. playing? Uh, nowhere. Oh, I thought you had a gig. Well, yeah, but... In, uh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm doing a uh, cable access show, that's all. Oh. Yeah. It's... That's what you're here to plug, or you're here to get gigs? I'm just here. I'm not here for no reason. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he went to some club, and he finally got this girlfriend who's pretty cute, and now he's blowing it with her. I guess she doesn't want him anymore. Well, no, it's not that. She's still living with you? No, she's moved out. She's, like, living with her friend now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see her at all? Yeah, she, um, I was with her the whole week. She stayed over at my house. Do you still get to have sex with her and stuff? Well, you know, here and there. Oh, oh man. boy, you really blew it, Kenneth. <laughs> Loser. Because nah, no all he ever got was, like, fat chicks and stuff. And really, and not that often. And not even, you couldn't even get fat girls, right? Well, you know, uh, whatever. <laughs> this and that. No, be honest. Before her, you weren't I getting anything. Honest, Before her, you weren't getting any girls. Well, How often would you get it? Like once or twice a year, maybe? If you were lucky? Yeah, not that much. Hardly ever. Right. 
And so all of a sudden you get her a good looking girl with like a thin body <laughs> yes. and you blow it. Like, do you, are you still in love with her or are you, uh, like what happened? I don't get it. I don't know. I, just, I was confused. I well, you know. know, wait a minute. Let me put some light on this subject because what happened was, you know, Kenneth was a pretty happening dude when she met him. How was he, he was out. He, I don't know what was going on, but there was a lot of stuff going on and they were going out every night. Yeah. And then he was flying back and forth. And then she got to see, you know, she moved in with Kenneth. And all he wanted to do was stay home, and he didn't want to leave the house. And he'd drive her someplace, and she'd have to get out of the car and go do the shopping because he wouldn't leave the car. Because he's famous. Yeah. No, what I, I... She got fed up with you, man. She realized you're a retard. No, it's not like that at all. Yeah. He was high profile when they hooked up. Yeah, when they hooked up, for some reason, there was a... a there was something a, going on. There was some things yeah. going on, and like Captain Jenks was hanging around. There was all kinds of right, parties. Larry Melrose Green was here and all, yeah. all kinds of things. Heat. And then she, then finally, he went back to his regular life where he's a postal worker. And all of a and sudden, then, she's living in a trailer in the woods of Pennsylvania. And he won't leave it. You know, and he's going to the bathroom and not closing the door, and he's becoming a human being. Yeah. <laughs> but he's even worse uh, than a human being. Right. He's becoming a bad human being. <laughs> I don't know. I was just confused. I don't know if I want to, you know. So she said to you, I want to get married, and you said no? I said, well, let's just wait a little while. I'm confused. What are you so confused about? Why are you confused? You have nothing going on in your life. Why would there be confusion? Like, you think something better is going to come along? I don't. I don't know what's going. I'm just confused. Yeah. Look, I think it's a good thing she, for her. She, he got confused because yeah. he doesn't need to be married and having children. We should call her. You got her number? Yeah, yeah let's call her right now. Give me the phone. <laughs> you think he's stupider than Ganji? Didn't he go out last week and somebody asked him to leave a club and they took him down the street and beat him up? Yeah. No, just some jerk just, like, punished me for no reason. He didn't even know me, but... Some jerk beat you up? No, nah, just punished me. Like, yeah, so he said, come on, you want to go to another club? And I was like, all right. Just some people that I met, you know. Yeah, and he punched you? Yeah. You mean, wait, wait. He said wait, that wait. like it happens all the time. Wait a second. You were at a club, and some yeah. guy said to you, your teeth are funnier looking than ever, man. They're, like, really? falling out of your head. Oh, man. I know, look. What's When's the last time you went to a dentist? Oh. I don't go to the dentist, man. <laughs> yeah, That's no. a bad scene. <laughs> I just I brush my teeth all the time. I Do don't you? Have the I don't think you're working your gums properly. Let me see. Go like this. Mm. Oh, man. Well, see, I got a motorcycle accident, so that's why my face is messed up like that. Oh, that's the reason? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, but what about your teeth? Did your teeth get messed up in the accident? No, nah, that's just really? happened naturally. They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like his two front teeth are mad at each other, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, staying away like from this, each other. Like this. Yeah, they're like trying to get as far apart from each other as possible. Ah, <laughs> wow, that's messed up, man. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, anyway. so why are you confused about the girlfriend, man? Well, you're never going to get a better. What, have you gotten a girl since her? Mm, what do you mean? No. Have you had any sex with other girls since her? No, we've still been going out, so... You're still waiting for her to come back? Uh, no, we've been, um, like, seeing each other, like, on weekends and stuff like that. And she's seeing other people, and you're supposed to be out seeing other people? Well, not until last night, she said, Let, why don't we see other people? Oh, <laughs> this is a recent occurrence. And when she said she that... somebody else already. Yeah, right. And when she said that, what did that mean to you? It meant... It's over. No, she just... Uh, I guess. I don't know. I'm confused. What's all that red marks all over your neck and chest? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him, man. He's got like a rash running all down his neck. Is he nervous? I don't know. Are you Get nervous? You got, you got a whole rash running down your neck. I, I don't know. I just slammed two cups of coffee. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, man. You ought to cool out on that coffee. <laughs> but we were talking about this. You walked out of a club with a guy you didn't know. Yeah, this guy and these two other guys said, Hey, kid, what's up, man? And they were all shaking my hand and saying, Hey, how's it going? And they were like, Come on, uh. They recognize you from our show? Yeah. Yeah. And they were like, Come on, let's, you want to go to another club? And they were being all nice. And I was like, All right. And then, um, you know. What, the guy punched you in the face? Yeah, when we got down to the corner or whatever. He just turned around and punched you. <laughs> yeah, for no reason. <laughs> Were you all confused? <laughs> <laughs> no, I started running. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> Did it hit you hard? Yeah. Oh, that's not funny. Yeah, it was raw. Why is that funny? <laughs> 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 Took him outside and punched him. <laughs> Were you in shock? 
Yeah, I was. I, I didn't see it coming. It was like, you know. And was he a big guy? Yeah, real big. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, sad. Yeah, why would you want to hit little Kenny Keith? I don't know. know. I don't know, man. I, you wouldn't do that to a dog. It sounds like there's nothing <laughs> else to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he punched him in the face. <laughs> and did he hit you hard? Yeah. Yeah. Look right there. Oh, yeah, I see. That's, maybe that's where you got a mark. It was like two weeks ago. Look at his neck, Jackie. His whole neck is no, red. I think, it's, I think it's from the coffee. Oh, yeah, because right. yeah. he's all flushed out. Look at these. It's, it's yeah, like Sean Robin. Uh, Pull, your hair back. Pull your hair back. Pull your hair back. Looks like roast beef. Put yeah, I'm seeing it now. Ah. I'm seeing it now. Yeah, look at it. He's all rashed up. It's like somebody strangled him. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a mess. Oh. Right before I came. And you in. think you're gonna get other girls? You should have married her. What are you talking about? You always say don't get married. No, all. in your case, you should get married. <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's, ab that's advice for the general public, yeah. not you. Thank you. <laughs> what? What's wrong? Before I'm you cute. met that girl, you're cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know what it is? You've been getting laid on a regular basis. You start to think you're cute. See, Go before back. you got remember what he was like when he first got that girl? Yeah. He was holding on to her for dear life, and he wanted to marry her the first weekend. Go back in your mind before her and what you were getting. You're forgetting. Think about some of the girls you got. I know you had to beg them and they were fat. Uh, I don't know. All right, let me hear your music. You know what? Let me take a break and then I want to hear your music and I'm going to throw you out of here. All right. All right. <laughs> Kenneth Keith Tallenbach is here. <laughs> Kenneth Keith Tallenbach in the house. <laughs> What's up? Right after these words. To order Jackie's wild comedy CD or cassette, it's $10 plus $3 shipping and handling. Holiday special. Buy two, get one free. Call 1-800. 323 King, Friday night, December 16th, to catch a rising star, Jackie! Whee! Wacky Jackie! In the Governor Morris Hotel in Morristown, New Jersey. For dirty jokes and info, call 516 922 Wine! Free call! Remember, 516 922 Wine is. Free! Not a pay service! <laughs> okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, turn that off. Uh, he loves you. All right, here we go. <laughs> is that Pee Wee Herman in there? No. Who is that? I think it's all Jackie and Robin. Uh, uh, I know Robin. I know Jackie. There's an extra. Uh, I can't. I think that laughing came with the standard comedy track. I see. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Uh, 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 all right. Anyway, quickly, our guest so far this morning is Kenneth Keith Callenbach, <laughs> and um, he's the guy who blew smoke out of his eyes on our old Channel Nine show, and he's the guy who lit firecrackers out of his. Genitals. And, you know, he's done a lot of weird stuff, and he comes on our show every once in a while, and he's promoting something. That, I think what he's you, trying to start a new career, is what we're yeah, saying. What are you doing tonight? He's a postal worker, but. Is he still got that job? Uh, yeah, I still got that job. Oh, good. But well, he, but he also gets to make appearances because he's been on our show. What do you? Where are you appearing? Um, Caroline's Comedy Club for uh the Envolvesville Cable. Action That's that freak show. show show. They get all the freaks and they yeah. throw them on the show, and the, the freaks don't know they're freaks. Ah, uh, they think they're in show business. Yeah, they think they're in show business. <laughs> That's kind of a good show. I've never seen that. It's I haven't checked show. that out. They get guy. They get people to go on who really think. Like Kenneth thinks he's really in show business. <laughs> well, I don't know if I am or not. But what you, you don't know you're a freak. What are you going to be doing on that show? Playing comedy rock songs. Comedy rock songs. All right, so let me hear what you're going to do. I'm praying oh. that this is good. All right, you ready? What did you want to tell me, Gary? Just, you know, during the break, everybody's been calling in. So supposedly, you know, we're talking about Kenneth and his girlfriend. Yeah. So the rumor is that um, she's suing him. Oh, is that right? What? And they don't what? live together anymore. She's suing you, Kenneth? No. Nah. She's not. No, I was just with her last night no. uh, all week. Why is she suing? Why was? Why would they say that about you? I don't know. They said something about about uh, bringing her over, bringing her to New York from where she lives to get married, and then and then breaking up the you know a not, breach of contract, some sort of thing oh, like that. Yeah. Oh. You mean you're not a allowed to change your mind if you don't want to get married? No, no, I never heard anything like that before. <laughs> I don't know. Well, how that. could you? How, yeah, I'd not say that. <laughs> all right, let's see. Uh, so anyway, there's no there's no suit against you. No, nah, that's the first I, I ever heard. All right, like, good. I was All right, with her, I've been with her for like the last the whole time, just on and off there. Right. I don't know. And they you were still living might together get married. At one point, now what? You, they were living together, and now she lives in New York, and you live with your parents again, right? 
Well, she um, she lived in New York with a friend, and then she um, she couldn't find a job there, so then she moved back to Chicago. Oh, so she's, she's back in Chicago. Yeah, she's living with her friends in Chicago, and oh. she just like. Well, she just moved back like about a couple weeks ago. Oh, all right. I think I'm learning more than I want to learn yeah, about her life. Know. Well, she's in well, Chicago and she visited you. This there's day. not okay. much to it, really. Uh, all right. It's just kind of weird that you finally got a decent girl, like, you know, look decent and everything, and now you're not, you know, you blew that too. All right, let me hear some of these I songs that you're doing now. What is this called? It's called I Got Beers. All right, let's hear it. <laughs> all right. I might cut you short. I was walking down the street I didn't know who to meet I didn't take a bath that day I didn't brush my teeth yesterday I saw a girl in the corner Long blonde hair Tight black pants Black high heels How are you doing girl? What are you doing here? I got my own place I hope you don't have kids Come over here I got beers I got I don't think it's that bad I was to get licking This was the day for me I knew what I was going to see I told you I'd be home for dinner She asked if she could call home I said come on let's go on over I want to roll your husband over I don't care if he sees me I leave him laying in the bushes How are you doing girl? What are you doing here? Not that bad I got my own place Am I crazy? I don't think he's oh, that bad you don't have kids The right producer Come <laughs> over here I got beers Even when we're talking he just keeps playing like a mental face I want to get licking She got off the subway All right, all right I get it. He's doing All a medley. Right. He's doing a medley. I think he's into another song now. Yeah. Everybody has different taste, Howard, because you don't think that's bad, but I want to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to punch him in the face. It's kind of like Charles Manson's music. Yeah. Like, uh... There's a time for living. <laughs> In fact, Manson might be a little better. Time keeps on flying. Think you're loving, baby. The music of Charles Manson. You know what? He's better than Charles Manson. <laughs> hey, I got another one. Me, want to hear it? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Could you give us just a short? Oh, garbage dump. Oh, garbage dump. Why are you called a garbage dump? Oh, garbage dump, oh, garbage dump. You might be better than Kenneth Keith. Wow. I don't know. You call a garbage dump. What do you, what do you? I think uh, Manson was a little too ambitious. Kenneth knows his limits. <laughs> All right, well, let me hear your other song. What is it? Nothing but drunk. All right, go ahead. All right. All right. I, I stumbled around and down the street. How come I can't hear the music? I don't know. Oh, there it is. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't have it turned up. <laughs> yes. I stumbled around and down the street. I got drunk all through the week. It's pretty hard when you work 40. I feel like I'm a little contorted. A nice little nap is what I need. My schedule says I gotta go weed. I'm fed up. I've about had it. Now I feel like I gotta go grab it. Maybe I'll pump iron down at the gym. Or maybe I'll rob a car with my Slim Jim. I used to play all kinds of sports. Then I heard about gentle warts. I have been nothing but drunk all week. I have been nothing but drunk, you freak. I have been nothing but drunk all week. I have been nothing but drunk. Uh, That's pretty good. Nothing but drunk. That's not bad. Some all the moves too. But I when is it up? When's it over? And he doesn't I have to crack the car into the As mall. we speak, Caroline's is boarding up their doors. I knew I was a loser. All right. Where's the comedy? That's the best part yet. Yeah, you knew you were a loser. They should straighten up. Where's the comedy part? So I became a boozer. <laughs> when, when is in, where's the comedy? 
Comedy rock. Yeah, the lyrics are funny. It's comedy. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like Jackie at the Channel 9 Roast. <laughs> oh. It's funny. It's funny. Well. I just wrote this one. I hope you like it. It's called I Wipe With Leaves. <laughs> <laughs> I Wipe With Leaves in the Park. So, uh, Kenneth, congratulations on your new career as a musician. Now. Thanks a lot. And uh, we'll see you at Caroline's. When is that again? Tonight at 8 o'clock. All right. At Caroline's. All right. And you'll be there with other performers. Do you know who else you'll be there with? No, nah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no. As long as he's on the bill, you got a show. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, congratulations. I hope you get, you know. Yeah, I'll do you have a band or you just go by yourself? Well, I'm either going to try and form the Kenneth Keith Callum back band, try to get all the musicians, or just try to join a band and get them to play the material. Very good. Yeah. All right. Well, you're a man with a plan. Okay. Kenneth Keith Callum back, everyone. We're going to take a break. We'll be How back with you. How have been playing guitar? Like a couple of weeks. <laughs> like two months. Have you been playing for a while? Like two months. Is that really true? Two months? Well, I don't... Yeah, I don't play guitar. I, I I'm not kidding. I just did it for... Uh... Mm -hmm. Well, I thought you did great. There you go. All right, we're going to take a break. Impressed. Very impressed. I, at least he did this. It wasn't like the blowing the smoke out of the eyes or nothing happened. Yes, he did so. I can do that. Got to smoke. Uh-oh. <laughs> Have you been practicing that? You've never really been able to do that. No, I can't do it. Really? I'm serious. Get the smoke. I'll do it right now. <laughs> yeah, no, I will pass. You want to uh, see him blow smoke no, out of his eyes? No, because he throws up and stuff. Are you going to puke? No, I don't. It's funny when I'm he pukes. Puke. That's because I drank all that water. That's the only reason I puked. <laughs> and I started gagging. I was like, <coughs> you know. I'll watch you blow smoke out of your eyes. Hey, Scott, you got 900 cigarettes back there. Can you part he with one? He doesn't have one to spare. Because I'm serious. I can really do it, man. I, I'm serious. All right. Scotty wouldn't give me one of his own cigarettes. What is that? What are those? Weird-looking bag oh, no, of cigarettes. It says Buzz. Or... Don't take mine. Buzz cigarettes. It's a new brand. They sent them over to us. <laughs> oh. I guess you get a buzz when you smoke. I don't know. <laughs> well, are you ready? Yeah. Jack, get the, get the All right. I'm going to really try really hard this time. All right. If you puke, make sure yeah. the camera can see you. What do you want? Get that barrel ready. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> All right. I'm just getting ready. You know, it does sound like air's coming yeah, out of his Yeah, air's eye. coming out. Watch. Come on, that's... Oh, it's oh, coming out of your nose. Huh? All right, ready? What, is something coming out of his nose? No, it's, it's, that's, that's the noise of stuff coming out of his nose, not his eyes. Here it goes, here it goes. Oh, come on, dude. I hate this. You make me sick. Right, he's going to inhale the smoke and make it come out of his eyes. All right, get out. It get came out. out. You saw it, man. Oh. It came out, man. You saw it. Did you see it? <laughs> Huh? No, I didn't see it, but then stop. I don't want you to do it anymore. You're so sick. Wait. No, don't do it anymore. Stop. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Why are you making that face? Because it burns, man. All right, man. I don't want you to do it anymore. Seriously, look, stop. Tearing. Stop. Stop. All right, I'll stop. All right. You look like an idiot. <laughs> Sounds like his brain's burning. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He can't. He's crying. It burns real bad. Well, why would you do it, you wacko? Why do you do that if it hurts? Don't do it anymore. You wanted to see it. I wanted to. see it. I don't want to see it. One more time. One more time. No, no, don't do it anymore. I want to see it. Don't do it anymore. He looks like he's blind from that. I know. Are you blind? No, I can see good. Yeah. But who are you looking at? All right, I'm gonna take one more time. No, no, I don't want to see it anymore. Alright. Maybe that's why his eyes are so weird, Howard. Yeah. Did you just see that? No. But you saw it come out, didn't you? No, your eyes are all bloodshot and red. Tears so coming. I see it blood coming out, out of your eye. Ah, oh, you it disgusting. Came out, man. You are disgusting. You know, <laughs> where's the ashtray? <laughs> oh, look at his eyes. His eyes are all red They're and bleeding. I know. No. no. He pops. He pops blood vessels yeah. in his eyes. Ooh. Yes, he does. Oh, one more time. No, right. don't. All right, all right, all right. Do you, Ugh. Do that. I'm gonna at home. puke from him. Get him out of here. You Howard, wanted him to do it. You dog. Do you know what you created? Do you know who's on the bill with him tonight? Who? I just found out. It's a female Elvis, a rapping grandmother, and a banjo playing priest. Cool. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, we're going to take a break. I'm going to throw Kenneth Keith out of here. We're going to take some phone calls next. I'm going to vomit from the look of his eyes. <laughs> yeah, it burns. Hey, your eyes all red. Burn. That's because smoke came through it. Oh. Oh. All right, we're going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words.